Welcome back to another episode of Tottenham Trophy Hunt, the uh, second episode of season two. Look at the league table with second, with second lead, joint top, after seven games. It's been a good start, we're unbeaten so far. We had one minor blip in our last game, which we struggled in, but it's been a very good start to the season. We'll look at the results here. So we, we saw the 2 win over Leicester, 0-0 nil nil of Watford, 2-0 win nil over West Ham, but then we beat Brighton 2-1. A 5-1 win over Arsenal. A very good result. Ryan Sesson with a first half hat-trick in that game. Just completely obliterated in the first half. Amazing performance. Brentford conceded in the first minute. Then they got a man sent off in 11 minutes. Then we cruised to a 4-1 win. Bournemouth, we struggled a bit. <laughs> Marmouche scored a hat-trick against us. It was a bit back and forth, but we got the win. But in today's episode, we are... Playing PSV in the Champions League, got Chelsea in the league, and then Watford in the Carabao Cup. So, three big games. Our, our Champions League group is a bit easier this year. PSV, Sevilla, and Nice. A bit easier than last season, which had Napoli in it and um, Bayern Munich, I think. I think it was Napoli at least. But yeah, Harry Kane's nearly returning from injury. He's got six days left until he's returned to training, which is good. Kuliseski's also been injured, which is kind of annoying. But we also do have. I'm not sure, I can't remember if he was in the last episode, but we've got Camavinga. That's that. Anyway, let's get into the game against PSV. Right, we've rotated a bit against PSV because I don't think we need to go full strength in the Champions League with, these, with the teams that are in our thing. We should be able to have our second team and still do very well. And PSV, you know, losing Gakpo and Madawuke, they are a bit weaker. And we should cruise to victory, especially at home. And we start off 30 seconds into the game. With Romero losing the ball. Got Livermento winning it back. Son. He's been playing striker. He's done quite well for us, to be fair. He's still annoyed at Eric Dyer being sold, so it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Still playing well with it. But Harry Kane will be back soon and take that role off of him. Livermento finds Romero. His ball finds Scarlett and we're 1-0 up. A minute 23 into the game, we have win 1-0. Good stuff by Romero making that, that underlapping run. Great ball by Livermento and just had to be a simple cross, pass across the goal and we're 1-0 up against PSV. Symbols. I can't march out for a better start. That shot was definitely worth more than 0.48 xg. That was, that was a bit. <laughs> did two yards out. Hey, oh, I don't make the xg. We should cruise to this win. To be honest, it would be a bit disappointing if we don't. And you know, I'll probably take like Curtis Guy and Son off towards the end of the game, get them some rest. Romero, DeMarco with the header, find Son, 2-0. Son continues his good form. He played really well in the Bournemouth game. Some really good strikes from him. But again, it's Romero involved. Not the greatest ball, but DeMarco gets it. And Son chests it down with his weaker foot, follows it home. Easy, easy, easy game so far. Sun finds DeMarco down the line. DeMarco shoots. The best pass was inside to Scarlet. Don't know why he shot there. Coach Scarlet with a challenge. He dribbles past there and finds Livermento. Livermento finds Scarlet. How's he missed? How's he missed? Great ball by Livermento. DeMarco with a free kick. Oh, what a save. That's him right into the top corner. Great free kick by DeMarco. Back to DeMarco on his right hand side. Passes everybody. Still can't believe Scarlet missed that opportunity. Five minutes left into half time, and they finally get their first shot of the game. It's an extreme long shot, but they got their first shot at DeMarco at the corner. Puts it in, 
Basuma with a header. 3-0 even before it's half time. Very, very good performance. You know, we struggled at home to Bournemouth. We probably have the similar caliber players to PSV, but we really, really struggled. But we've rotated our team and we're absolutely dominating. You know, they've got Shabby Simons. So he's a very good player. To fair, Bournemouth did have a Bamiyang. They bought him for like 800,000. Our son threw to Scarlet. Chips the keeper. Goes out for a corner. Great ball by son. DeMarco with another corner. Cleared. Veerman as well in midfield is a very good player. But yeah, easy first start. 23 shots on goal. Find a good switch. De Jong. Simons finds Pascagli. Ooh. Got a couple of shots away there towards the end, but nothing really worth if anything. Uh, we've, I'll bring off some for Andreas, and then I'll bring on uh, all of us. Give for Carlos Scarlia, yeah. and move two Ram into that attacking midfield as well. I mean, I, I've been starting Camavinga and Benton core together. He said Basuma. Maybe that's wrong, but. I like Camavinga in that midfield. The athleticism he has is better than any other player. Skip finds Andreas into Scarlet. Can he finish? No, great save. The keeper, he's having a good game. Like He's letting three goals, but he's having a very good game. DeMarco with another corner. And it's cleared again. Half an hour to go. Looks like we are going to be easing through this Champions League group. Like we should be smashing everyone. Really, we have so much, such a better squad than anyone. We took Nice's best player in Turam last season. So, Pesuma. It's a great ball to Demarco. He finds Andreas for nil. Andreas's fourth goal of the season. It's been it's been an excellent pickup. He has his technical qualities are outstanding in this squad. Great potential as well. He can only improve as well. He's having a really good start to life at Tottenham. Demarco with his third assist of the game as well. He's going to be battling out with Session for that left winger spot, and I think they'll be back and forth all season because Demarco's getting the assist, but Session is getting he's racked up like four or five goals already this season, along with two or three assists. He's had an amazing start to the season. Got an England call up, had to give him a new contract because of that. Turan, ball over the top, that's a great ball to Scarlett. And he puts it wide. Scarlett's missed a few opportunities here. Gus Till with the ball at the pitch. Antonio Silva with a good header. Here's Livermento. Can he find Marco down the wing? He finds Andreas. He finds a great ball to Turam. 5-0. Kefram Turam. Great player. Great player. That's a great ball by Andreas. That's, a, that's an amazing ball. The vision and technique to get that in that position is very good. Romero down line to Livramento. His cross is blocked. They clear. Antonio Silva is there to pick it up. Skip finds Livermento again. His cross finds Andreas just wide. Great ball by Livermento. He's unlucky not to have an assist in this game. Yeah, 10 minutes left. Amazing performance. Really, really good performance. Not going to make any subs because this team's not going to be playing the next game against Chelsea. But yeah, amazing performance in the Champions League. Weren't troubled in any way. Subs came on, did really well. The starters did really well. Perfect start to the Champions League. Maybe we could go and win it. Who knows? But yeah. Let's get into the bigger game of the episode against Chelsea. Here we are then. Chelsea. They've got a very strong squad. Not in the best of form to start the season, but we're in great form. We got our best team out there. Well, apart from Harry Kane, to be fair, but he's nearly back. 
next game he should be back, but there we are. We're joint top of the league, Chelsea down there in 8th. Had a much better start to the season than even playing more games in them. So hopefully, you know, we can get a good performance in. And it's away from home as well, so it will be a bit harder. But the midfield of Kante, Fernandez, and Kovacic is a very good midfield. And the front line of Haverstone and Lukaku is also a very good team. They've got a very good team. Don't know who their manager is. I assume it's not Potter. Kuroseski gets in there, but Mendy holds on to it. They play it out quickly. We're there to press them. Can they play out? They have done, but. Bastoni's there to win ahead of it, goes to Havertz, back to Bastoni, Karaskaya. Sessling down on the ball, Gavardiol. Runs down the line, cuts it back to Bentoncourt. What can he do? He run down the line as well. Is he going for a solo? Oh, over the bar. Who is the Chelsea manager? I assume it's not Potter, because why would it be? Zinedine Zidane. That's an interesting one, isn't it? <laughs> so, Reese James down the line. Finds a switch to Sterling. Sterling. He's allowed to cut inside, but Diogo Costa is there. Oof. They've got some shots off there, Chelsea. They're finding some space. We're not really creating much. Yeah, we're not, we're not playing well in this game at all. I haven't created anything of no, I haven't even got a shot on target yet. Far from pleased with the performance so far. And that they're just Keep on shooting, and we, we're not getting anywhere near their goal. Okay, an hour in, what can we do? Camavinga to Son. Son, Shh. you've got to score that, but it's a great save by Mendy. Fair play to Mendy, but you've got to score that, Son. You've got to score that. Poro, cleared. It's Kluseski. Shoots with his right foot, deflected, but Mendy takes it, he plays it quick. They're playing the ball out quickly and then losing it. Do we make some substitutions? I think we have to. Go for Benton Core for Basuma. I'm going to change my wingers as well for sort them both out because they're not creating anything. And then Chris Esky, who just came back from injury, is going to be taken off. I think that's. Fine, I think with maybe like 10 minutes ago, I'll probably bring one Scarlet as well. If Sun doesn't do anything in the next couple minutes. Bring on Dane Scarlet. Sterling to Lukaku. We've got a counter on here. Can we deal with it? Lukaku has a great ball to have it. Diogo Costa is there to... And Enzo Fernandez scores. <sighs> Just never woken up in this game. We just haven't just been able to do anything to Chelsea. Bring on Dane Scarlett, but you can see by that match momentum there, we haven't had any real success in this game. Fofana plays it back to Mendy. Silva. They're playing it for us quite easily. Like We're not pressing high and we're not leading low. We're just sitting there allowing them to go around us. It's not good, not good. When they play that ball back, we got to get off the pitch, but we just didn't. We just sat, sat there. Ball breaks to Enzo on the edge of the box to Marco. Well, it's Karish Kyle attack. When he just boots it out, what's the chop? What's the point? What's the point? Uh. Reese James at the front. He's allowed to cross in. Vardy, I'll give it this. Andreas pick up but free kick here DeMarco I assume is on the ball it is what can you do it it's got a very great free kick in pre-season puts it wide there though uh, a couple of minutes to go we'll go attacking Mendy into James that's too easy 
Nej, det är typ första på honom. Fullbacks är förfarande bad, men det är... Kör den här löften så är det... The Quark, please. Is Andreas. Mine Scarlet, Crowder Scarlet. Terrible pass for Fana intercepts. For Fana to Hudson Doy. For Fana James. Here's for Fana. Lukaku, Hudson Doy. It's a goal in it. Sterling, 2 0. Saw that coming. We were way too easy to play around there. Not put enough pressure on the ball, and when we did get pressure, we just wasn't enough to tackle. Fair result, Chelsea being the much better side. Our first loss of the season. It's away to Chelsea. We really need Harry Kane back. We can't keep having these summer performances like we had at the start of the season. We got away with it because other players stepped up. But when other players don't step up, it doesn't work. But now we're playing Watford, their 19th in the league. We've already played them this season in that 0-0 draw where we battered them, but we didn't win. But yeah, let's get into that Watford game where there'll probably be a bit of rotation. Right then, you can see on the screen I've rotated a lot. I've changed everyone apart from Kulusevski. He's still there, but I'm probably going to swap him out at half time for Kajskalia. Kane is back on the bench. He'll probably get about 10 15 minutes towards the game. I'm probably easing back in. He, he got a torn hamstring. I don't want to rush him back. And he's not like fully fit yet. You can see down here, he hasn't got full fitness yet, and he's got no match sharpness at all either. So I think 10 minutes at the end of the game. Is what will be best for him. You don't, you don't, he doesn't want. I don't want him to get injured again. He's too important to the team. Here we go. Come on. And um, what for the bit of possession here? They got Rob Holding. So I think they've put out a decently strong side, but not you know, still not as strong as ours, definitely. Cleverly still playing for them. Kina, back post. 1 0 Watford. Um, hmm. Don't even want to watch that again. Come on, lads. Let's actually you know, play some football. Livermento intercepts. Kuliseski gets Livermento's way. Scarlet headers hit the post. Ugh. I mean, we're only 15 minutes in, so we should be able to get the opportunities to win this game, but oh, what would have going to become a bogey team? Livermento with the throw in. DeMarco finds Andreas. Save. Dane Scarlet is there. Not offside, which is a good thing. Whew. Back on level terms. Good, good ball by DeMarco to find Andreas. It's an amazing save by Batman, but unlucky that Scarlet's there to get the rebound, but what a save that wasn't. Very short. Let's get a second before half time. Come on. They got some. Like, come cleverly. Come on. Andreas finds Scarlet. He shoots. Backman saves. DeMarco with the corner. Adogi, he misses out to Pesetto, but Antonio Silva's there to clear up. Rob Holden, Freire, Kalu. Chowdhury. Romero's there, he could have just controlled that, Romero, but it's fine, it's gone to the Romento. Tony Silva switches it to DeMarco. Can he find a pass down line to Andreas? He can. His chest control is really good. He finds Turam. Turam loses it out. But Basuma's there to clean it up. Basuma shoots. Basuma shoots it over. Still 1 0. They've only had one shot so far. Turam. Had to go to go Basuma. Pass it around nicely here, but Turam just lets Keane intercept him. But DeMarco's there to intercept that pass. DeMarco finds Scarlet. 2 1. 
<laughs> Terrible by Turam and Kima, and then Kima just gave it straight back to us. That was terrible from both players. But yeah, good work by DeMarco then. And Dane Scarlett again on the score sheet. He's having a really good season so far. And we've dominated this game, but they just have one shot, one goal. Very, very, very good performance so far. Kulis Seski I'm going to bring off for Kravish then. So the next game, Harry Kane will be starting this. It'll be still with Kravish Son and Kulisewski in the front three. And then with 20 minutes to go, we'll, we'll welcome Harry Kane back to the side. Hopefully with a big lead, so there's no pressure on him to do anything. Kalu? Oh my word. <laughs> Wake up, lads. <laughs> uh, he nearly had two shots, two goals. No, they were meant to tackle. They were so sloppy on the ball in this game at times. And they threw on the counter. Kina, can he find a pass? He can. Kalu, cost the save his lads. Demand more because just wake up. Tiago Costa, calm it down. Let's get on the ball and. Start passing it around better. We've, so, we've got so many good players on the pitch. His kick finds Rob Holden's head. Adogi to Silva. Back to Adogi. Finds Andreas. Adogi. He finds another pass. He finds Turam. Good play, but ends in nothing. Four shots, four on target for them. Or five now. Alright, corner. DeMarco with the corner. He whips in Romero's there. Quick cleared. DeMarco again. Kravich Gallia. Great finish by him. 3-1. He's had some really good games, Kravich Gallia. Some really good games. I don't know whether he's going to be like the main guy, even if they say we have to put our best team out. I don't think he's there yet, but if some Sun keeps up, you know, being unhappy, he's going to have to be. A doji. I've got Pasuma here. He strikes back when saves. I think it's time to welcome back Harry Kane and get some spice into this game. DeMarco's corner is cleared to Turam. He finds Antonio Silva. He shoots back boom with another save. Back to a corner. DeMarco. And nothing. So Harry Kane's back on the pitch. That's good to see. We need him. Desperately. Okay, Doji. Great switch out to Livermento. Good play to find Andreas here. He finds DeMarco. DeMarco. Oh, he found Harry Kane on his return. They can count, but Turam's there. I'm going to bring on um, Oliver Skip as well for Pizuma. Get him some minutes. He is fifth choice midfielder, so I might as well get him some minutes. Romero, Crash Guy, Livermento. Great work by Livermento there, but he does lose out. He finds Harry Kane, and oh, he misses. That's the lack of match shot was there. Last season he buries it. DeMarco. Well, Harry Kane there at the back post was ready. DeMarco again. Finds Turam. He finds Andreas. Oh, what a block. What a block. That was heading in. DeMarco with another corner. Cleared. All DeMarco has done this game is take corners. What for trying to play out the back? Can we press them into mistake? They do find a good ball out to Kalu. Seems to always be open over here. Kalu finds a great ball into Kina. Can you make it 3 2? Good save. What was that block? I think it was a block by a skip. Either way. Very good. We clear the corner. Not quite yet. 
another corner to Watford. We clear Valerie back in. Lianco 3 2. Got to stop conceding these cheap, cheap goals. Really, really need to. Like, we've conceded too many chances to Watford in this game. Way too many. We, we've, we've come out victors, but a bit of annoying performance by the B team. It, like, so maybe it's because it's the B team, they haven't played much to go and they play much this season, but I expected them to do a lot better defending the goal. Like, attacking wise, amazing. 27 shots, 15 in the target. You expect to score more from that, but defensively, not great. Especially second half, really bad second half. First half, very good. We could see, what, two shots in the first half, but second half, not, it was not just the shots, but the quality of shots as well that we gave up as well. But yeah, Dane Scarlett, very good performance by him, two goals. That's just, that was tally up to three in a season. Underperformance XG, to be fair. But a very good prospect, worth sending Richarlison. Like it's just as good as him in that advanced forward position. Like, and Richarlison wasn't playing any other position. We don't play the wingers, but that he plays. So, yeah. all right, that's going to be the end of the episode. A five-nil win over PSV, two-nil loss to Chelsea, and a three-two win over Watford. We'll be back probably for the Carabao Cup fourth-round game and the May United game. So yeah, see you next episode.